Hello there, I'm Jim Glover, that branding guy for Once A Day Marketing. Today is Action Wednesday and we're continuing our series, this is part two, on building a winning culture. The idea for this blog came from Jim Stengel's latest book, Grow, but I should have also mentioned that the 10 principles were astutely compiled by Martin Zwilling, a Forbes contributor. And so today we're going to finish off the next five principles. Here are principles six through 10 on building a winning culture. Number six is set your standards very high. You want to always challenge your team. Number seven is train all the time. Coach every day and don't criticize. Number eight is do a few symbolic things to excite your customers and your employees. If you think about Steve Jobs always out there in front of that stage announcing the next big thing from Apple. Number nine is think like a winner and act like a winner and you're going to present that sort of idea to your customers and also to your employees so everybody is on a winning team. And lastly is live your desired legacy and by that you're if you don't know your ultimate goal and direction, how can anybody else understand that as well? So it's up to you to live it and to share it. By following these principles, you should accrue two major benefits. The very first is that you will build a team based on your ideals. And that's a good foundation for all future direction. And then lastly, you will give your team the freedom to create. And who knows where your team's going to go this winning culture when everybody is excited about trying new things. That concludes Action Wednesday and I really look forward to hearing about the development of your winning culture. If you need any branding or marketing support, please contact me to discuss an online or on-site service engagement. You can always find that information at the end of this video. I'm Jim Glover, that branding guy for Wednesday Marketing and we'll see you next time.